I was asked by the Kimberley Land Council to, um, to research a native title claim in the Great Sandy Desert. One of the first people that I met was um, Spider, who told me that his, um, his country was Kordal, and um, when are we going to go there? You got copy there, Ngaro? Yeah. The native title research gave people an opportunity to see country, their home as they call it, their ngurra, their home, um, after 40 to 50 years. They, they hadn't been there for that long. They, like Spider, could take me to these places that were indistinguishable features in this vast desert landscape after not being there for 45 to 50 years. I mean, I was employed to do a native title claim, but really it was more than that. It became more than that. It became way more than that. It became something that um, I was desperate to understand, really, for my own personal reasons. I was desperate to understand how um, fully intelligent human beings could, dis could speak to invisible things. And I remember this one time we went to Ajilla. It was, um, it was a snake that everybody knew as being quite cheeky, as they called it, you know. Um, I remember when we were approaching it, people were constantly looking at the sky and at any stray clouds that were happening to see if the snake was um, communicating in some malevolent fashion to them. Because the snake's behavior was always tied to meteorological events. Unlike other traditions where these long song lines travel through the desert and the, uh, the transformation of the dream time beings are found in rocks and, uh, and clay pans and... Uh, uh, various other topographical features that are permanent in the landscape, these beings in the landscape were associated with transient phenomenon, meteorological events. And what was happening was that Spider and Old Wirali were making rain with this snake at this waterhole. We, we took video when we were on these trips. We brought water back from the Jilla to the community. And the videos were left at Mankaja Arts, and people would come in and turn on the TV and put another one of these videos in of uh, their fathers and their mothers and their grandparents' traditional country, country that perhaps they had never seen or country that perhaps they did. And they would just sit down and relive it on an almost daily basis. And it really did change their lives in a perhaps even a significant way.